Finally guys, Master Duel content, new stuff. We got the SP deck challenge. What is it? I actually have no idea, but I actually had to grind for it. Uh, just keep in mind that you have to do some of these other challenges. Oh my gosh, they're all duels? Wow. Um, I'm not going to play with my deck. My deck would just obliterate it. Uh, I want to see what they're... Are you serious? Perfectly great ultimate moth? And Parasite Paranoid? What is this? I don't know. I, I, I ain't here to read. I'm here to play. So let's go ahead and see what this is uh, going to actually uh, have for us. So I'm guessing it's like we're supposed to duel using like some stuff from the anime. But apparently it has different rules. What is this new mode? I don't know. Um, I'm going to kick it off i actually don't know how to play this guy a deck all i know is honestly is probably not gonna be s tier but it's okay now everything needs to be that way so um what i'm probably just going to be doing is just activate the effects of everything uh you send a level five or higher monster from your hand to the graveyard special on this card from your hand during the battle phase you can banish the card from your graveyard target one monster on the field whose current attack is turned from his real attack and its attack becomes its original attack uh, what oh so i'm probably supposed to activate this fact i'm just guessing uh do these cards have effects in the graveyard? I'm just like looking at graveyard. I don't want to try to make this video super long since there's so many duels. Um, but I want to see if there's like a bonus effect uh, in the graveyard. If the card is special summon, you can target one. Okay, what does this one do? If you control is a monster, you can control none. You can special summon this card from your hand. Once per turn, if a monster or monsters with attack higher than this card is special summoned to your opponent's field during the damage step. Okay, so that's what it's all about, I guess. I go for that one. Oh, uh, these are both these are both field spells. Oh, it's the same thing. Um, while Gaia the Dragon Champion is in your monster zone, you can activate one of the following effects. You can reveal Gaia the Fierce Knight to add one level five or higher dragon monster from your deck. Okay, might as well just add one, right? Um, okay, so I only have the the first effect. Okay, it doesn't really matter when I show the opponent because it's AI. Curse of Dragon. Ugh, what the heck? So there's no more special, you get to add a spell or trap from your deck to your hand that lists it. Okay, sure, why not? Can't I just... It's... Okay, so I can special summon this card. Or I guess I can attribute it. Okay, so I get to add one. I'm just going to... This one counts as two. So I'm guessing this is like the, the best play for this deck. <sighs> okay, so we have... If Guy the Swift Knight attacks Piercing... You get to draw two? Oh, shoot. Well, I'm... What, how much attack does that have? 2,000? Uh, that's probably not going to be happening. Add the fusion? Okay. Um, or we get... Well, we the dragon... Your opponent's monsters can only target Gaia, the dragon champion, for attack. When attack is declared involving your Gaia, the dragon champion, you can target one card on the field and destroy it. That's actually not that bad. Gaia the... Is this Gaia, the dragon champion? Does it count? No, it does not count. Okay, so the fusion's the, the the only card. So we have to get out that card first. Okay. So I guess we go for Guy the tra Champion, because I mean, it's a 2,000 attacker. Which one do we summon? If you fusion summon level 7 Dragon Fusion Monster, you can also banish monsters from your graveyard as material. Okay. This card is fusion summon. You can target one spell and trap that mentions Guy. Ooh. Oh, it, only in the graveyard. Okay. What about this one? If this card is special summon, you can add one Spiral Spear Strike from your deck or graveyard to your hand. Okay, so that one actually adds something good. This one has the effect of... Uh, in phase, you can target one other card in the field. This card loses 2,600 attack, and then it, it destroys that card. When this card destroys the opponent's monster by battle, you can make this card have 20... Hmm. I mean, being able to add one Spiral Spear Strike, I'm guessing that's the play. The monsters as material. Uh, I mean, I can use both of my hand. I, I would probably select one of these. And then... Does this have an effect in the grave? This is 2600 attack, this is 23. Um, I think the other one's more useful. Okay. All right, and then we get the spiral. Ooh, yes. Oh, it gets a huge boost. Okay, reading is hard. Oh, and now we can actually do good damage. All right. Well, I probably should have put it here. I mean, just in case he's playing Mac Knights. Okay. So, like, I kind of glanced over the whole, like, uh, Petite Moth. So, I think how it works is he can summon the Petite Moth, ignoring its summoning condition. Are you kidding me? Dude, what the heck is this, man? Of course he opened up Raigeki when I used all my resources for that one monster, dude. Unlucky. Get scammed, man. All right. Well, at least I'm glad I, I used this one. Um, I could just summon this card if... You control no monsters, or your opponent controls a monster with 23 or more attack. You can also attributing. 
Uh, if this card is normal or special summon, you get to special summon one level five hard dragon monster from your hand or graveyard in defense position. I mean, that could be kind of nice. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. By the effect of Gaia. Normal without tributing, okay. Cool. Uh, yeah. Extra monster, sure. Why not? Oh, and this card gets the effect. See, I'm like learning the deck by just hitting yes on everything. And this is count card as Gaia. Oh, it's Gaia the Fierce Knight. And we already got, wait, can't you draw more than one with this? Oh, heck yeah. I think that this is how it works. I, I vaguely remembered this deck. I did cover this deck at some point, but like, I'm pretty sure you can get multiples of these effects. Let's hope this goes through, because if it doesn't go through... Oh, wait, wait, hold on. We get to activate this effect. We can reveal one and add one. This is actually, like, not that bad for, like, one of these sort of attacks. All right. I think we get mu multiple, dude. Let's go multiples. Oh, the draw power. Wait, what? I thought it... Oh, only when it inflicts. Oh, only when it's piercing. Oh, dude, that's, uh, reading is hard, guys. Reading is hard indeed. Ripperoni pepperoni. That's what we needed. What the heck is oh he has reborn? Oh he's gonna reborn my my boy? Oh no. Oh wait, what the heck is this guy gonna make? Shinobi insect? Okay. The AI gonna destroy me. I I I think we gotta surrender Kappa. Oh uh, he popping everything. Number six dude he what the heck is this? Oh no, what does it do? Wait, what does this card do? Uh, just hit yes. It just, it just hit yes. It gonna do something. All right, it banished it, select one monster. Oh, we just pop one monster? Oh, that's, that's pretty good. Oh, uh, what does it do? Oh, it just targets a monster and it loses attack. We should actually read it. I just like, I, I don't plan to ever play Gaia, you know what I mean? Oh, it it changes the attack. Okay, that's not that bad. Um, I mean, I can't even attack over anything. This card uh, points to, if a monster. This card points to destroy by battle by card effect. You destroy someone. Oh, but then I can just destroy this card, and we're fine. Um. I, th I think we go for the fusion, right? I don't know. Reading is hard. Uh, and we go for the fusion. And also, like, reveal the thing. I should probably do this play first before anything. Oh. Oh, we, we actually reveal Curse the Dragon. Uh, I don't know. Which one am I supposed to go for? I'm guessing the fusions require a Gaia the Fierce Knight. I think that it requires this one. I honestly don't play this deck, and I'm, you know, it's okay. We'll, we'll learn it as we go. Um, oh, wait, that one lets me target a spell trap that lets it. I mean, getting all these spiraled spell strikes is like kind of worthless. This card loses. I think this card is, is way better than any of the other cards in the archetype. So we have to actually destroy this monster first. 5,000, what? That's a decent amount of attack. Oh, I have to attack that monster. Oh. Oh, shit. So he gets to add one. Oh, yes? What's that? Oh. Wait, what? That's that's pretty good. Oh, it, oh, it gains attack. I thought it, if if it loses attack, we get the effect. Oh, you can make this card gain twenty six hundred attack when it destroys an opponent's monster by battle. Okay, I thought we were doing the other effect, and I was like, dude, this is actually pretty good. You can activate during the battle phase, but it's only during the main phase can you like pop the card. All right, reading is hard. But hello, Blair. Um, you're interested in playing this game. Any tips for a first-time player? What deck to use? 
Um, the thing, here's what I always recommend for newer Yu-Gi-Oh players is like play a bunch of different decks. Is it, is it the AI's turn? Oh, my bad. Um, did it just end the battle phase? Oh, well, I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna pop this because I, I don't have that. Can you, can you activate it again? All right. But yeah, I, I would recommend, uh, here, here's like the, the top decks right now to look at. Sky Strikers, Drytron. Um, those are all great. Uh, Sky Striker, Drytron, Tri Brigade, Zodiac. Um, those are probably like relatively decent decks, I would say, for most people to, to learn uh, to play. I mean, I, I feel like this card effect is just so good. Catapult Turtle, what the heck is this deck? I have to contribute Guy of Fierce Knight from your hand or deck. I don't know what the heck he's playing. It's insects, so like, my assumption is he's got a bunch of cards that can be like, when this card's flipped up. Oh, was that vanilla? Um, so you can tribute one monster. I, I mean, if I tribute this, I just win the game. Even though like, normally like, oh! He, yo, they play Maxi? Oh no, he's about to drop Gores on me. Oh no. Watch, watch me lose because I scrubbed up because of that play. Um, okay. I, I'm pretty sure we should be good though. It worked out. It worked out. We, we got him. Clapped him. Easy. So this is the new event? Like... That guy didn't even get a perfectly great moth. I didn't even read half my cards and we still got the dub. Let's go, dude. Um, I don't know if... Okay, we'll do a couple of these. I don't know if... Is it just the same deck? Okay, how many duels are there? It's a legacy pack ticket. Okay, so that's one of the rewards. What's the final, like, reward? Does it show us... Oh, it doesn't even tell you. Oh, wait. Field parts magical hats times one. So what... Are okay, so you do get gems. You do get gems. Okay. Okay. Uh, does anyone else feel like these rewards for the Legacy Pack tickets are like kind of meh? Oops, I didn't want to go back. Uh, how many duels are there? Because I don't know how long I want to make this video. Because if I if I do all the duels, it could be quite lengthy. Let's just do one more for here, unless it's like a two second duel. So I guess with these new these new SP deck challenge uh, things, it's your opponent basically cheating. So because like other duel over here, if I I thought it was we had to play Moth. You can ignore the summoning conditions of perfectly ultimate great moth and special summon it by using something. Okay, so they basically have some weird effect is the is the goal of this. So uh, use the fury of Kairu Shin to run to tribute and tandem to not only destroy all of your opponent's monsters while protecting your own water monsters from also being destroyed by it to tribute. Also keep an eye for Olivia Dragon de Adalas, which will destroy all their cards in the field when its controller sends Umi from the grave uh, to the graveyard, okay. There are many other cards that revolve around Umi, so take control of it. Okay, let's just go. And let's go, let's go clap my opponent real quick. So yeah, I feel like the new event, like, cause I got excited about some SP new event. Ah, uh, it's not, what the, what the heck is this? Who, why are they teaching us how to play this? Teach us how to play like good decks. Like, I, I mean, there, I know there was Glad Beast, but like, I wanna learn like Glad Beast the proper way. Like where you end with barrier statue, you end with a good combo. Um, not this like, like beta magnet warrior in 20 like oh do we just i'm sorry dude, this guy got sacked let's go harvey's feather duster one like equal run one prayer for my opponent uh okay this one lets us add one um it's gonna normal you get to uh add one does any of these special summon you contribute this to someone at level four magnet warrior um this card is normal or special you get to add one level eight what's burning land if there are any field spell cards on the field destroy me each player what during each player standby phase, the turn player takes. Why would I? Who would play this card? I mean, is this. What? Alright. Either way, I'm assuming it's this one for my combo. Is, is this it? Like, I, I really don't know this deck at all. Um. We have to banish Alpha, Beta, Gamma. Okay, so I think one of them special summons the other one. So maybe next turn we can get out this boss monster. Um, I want to set this. Like he can, he can pop that card. Who, who would play Burning Land? Like what is this? Opponent is ending his turn. What does this card do? Tribute to summon a Magnet Warrior. Okay, sure. Why not? 
So we have, we alpha, beta, gamma for this by banishing, is it from a hand? Your hand, grave, and or face up stone. So we have beta, gamma, and Valkyrion. So I just need alpha, right? Delta. Okay, this is the one we need. All right, there we go. Alpha, beta, gamma, let's go. Oh, this is what add polymerization or something. I didn't even know this deck had fusions. I'm gonna keep it real. Um, to add another lower magnet warrior. Okay, I might as well summon this to add an extra card. Oh wait, is this the wrong? Oh wait, wait is this the wrong beta? There's like a vanilla beta too. Oh shoot. Well, <clears throat> whatever. We're just gonna add all of the vanillas. We're we're, we're here to one shot. What do these even do? Uh, okay. By tributing, you can tribute this card to target one alpha beta warrior. Wait, so I can tribute it to summon the same cards used to make it? What do I, what do I even have in the extra deck? Is there anything even good? Curse the drag! What? They throw the they threw the guy from the, the other game in here? What? Oh wait, hold on. But yeah, why would you add that? Okay, so uh, must be fusion summon. Can't be so once per turn. Uh, per turn when you're putting active spell or a trap, you can negate that. And destroy if this card or if these fields you summon like a bunch of stuff. Uh, I think that's the card we go for. I think I really don't even know. I don't even want to read it. Like, when am I ever going to be playing this thing? Right? Like, never. This guy, this guy looks pretty boss though. All right, are we good? All right. Wait, is this, it says, during each player's standby phase, the turn player takes 500 damage. So like, it, does he just take 500 if I activate this? We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. A burning line is activated. You, you contribute this card to special summon one level four. Uh, sure, why not? I, I really don't know. Why wouldn't we just uh, deck thinning all of these terrible cards? Um, what does this one do? I don't know. This one dumps. Uh, I don't even know what I'd want to dump. I mean, they're all from like hand deck or graveyard, right? So. You have no clue what I said. Oh, in terms of like, um, oh, Monster Reborn is activated. What was he going to reborn? Like, is there even anything good to reborn? Like, he'll reborn for that card, and that's it. That's fine. But, uh, okay, so try... I would just try dueling against people to see what you like to play. Like, for example, if you really like Blue Eyes and you're having fun with it, go go on. Because those are very iconic things, like Dark Magician, Blue Eyes. You'll probably see a lot of those. Are those good decks? No. Um, for competitive. Oh, 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 I know that card. I know that card. We gotta negate that one. Does this one, like, protect it? Okay, cool. Wait, uh, all I need to do is attack this and it's game over, right? You can add a level 7 water monster. Alright, well, it doesn't matter when it's game over! Wow, dude. GG's. We, we clapped that guy... in like two seconds. What a great start to an event. I mean, honestly, I think the AI is supposed to be using basically like cheats, like as in like they have some sort of advantage. I didn't really get to see that guy's advantage. Um, but now on the next one, what are we gonna, let's, let's at least check out the preview. This is like, we're watching the anime and it's like next time on Asianizer's channel. All right, so we have, uh, be careful with the many monsters that can both attack and destroy cards with their effects. There's Barrel Dragon. Barrel Dragon in 2022, get out. That There's no way they're bringing this back. Like, what, are you trying to teach players? Yeah, dude, I definitely play Umi. You got the Valkyrion in 2022. This is just like teaching people, like who's gonna play perfectly great moth Gaia? Like show us real decks in life, in my opinion. Attack your opponent while being conscious and timing in which you destroy their monsters. All right, so next time on Dragon Ball Z for the new SP deck challenge, uh, we'll be facing this off. But guys, let me know what you think. Be honest with me too. Do, do you guys think that this event is like, wow, oh my gosh, this is so cool. For me, 
I'm gonna keep it real. I, I just, I really don't think that this event is like that amazing. This would have been cool maybe at the very start for beginner players, but like if we played for, you know, a while, we've probably seen Drytrons, we've seen all of the meta decks. Going and playing against this is just like, why? It's not even good practice. Like at least show us some like, meta of even maybe older days you couldn't even show us teledown people would be like this is awesome respect but like this is just like what's the point of learning that's just the way i see it you guys can let me know yours down below um that's just my thoughts but if you guys enjoyed the video subscribe turn on the channel uh, subscribe turn on the channel subscribe turn on that bell if you're new here and you do want to see more new Yu Gi Oh uh videos in the future i might play on this all the way through we'll see it just kind of depends on how good the content is and if you guys enjoy it or not so drop a like if you guys want to see more see you guys next one peace